Hi, welcome to Start Tech Academy, where you will learn something new with every new video. So in this video, I will show you how you can use Google Bard to create and customize your resume. Google Bard can save you a lot of time and give you great ideas for how you can represent your work and achievements in your resume. We will cover this in two parts. First, if you do not have a resume and you are creating a new professional resume, then how can Google Bard help you? And secondly, how you can tailor your existing resume specially for the job you are aiming for. Now let's start with creating a resume. So suppose you want to create a resume like this. As of now, Google Bard cannot straight away give you your resume in this format. It can create these points for you and then you need to put these points in your resume template yourself. So step one for you will be to get a good resume template. There are many sites from where you can get a resume template, but this is completely up to you. Once you have selected a template, we can start formatting the CV points using Google Bard. To make your resume points, Bard needs two things, what you did and what you accomplished by doing that thing. So this information we will feed in our prompt and ask Bard to give us this in a resume format. Even if I have given this information in a very crude format, Let's say what I did, it says did some online ad things and what we accomplished, sold more online and got more likes and follows. You can see that user has used very crude language to give the information to Google Bard. Of course, if the user has created a CV point like this, that would not have good impact. But if you feed this information to Google Bard, then let's see what it does. So I have opened Google Bard. So here I have written my prompt. I'm saying that generate a good resume point from the information given below. What I did that I did some online ad things and what I accomplished from doing this thing, sold more online and got more likes and follows. Let's give this to Bart. So you can see that it has greatly improved the language of what I did and what I accomplished. It is that executed online advertising campaign that increase sales and social media engagement. This resume point is concise and action oriented and it highlights the key skills and achievement that you would want to emphasize. And here are some other suggestions that be specific. Use number to quantify your results. Tailor your resume point with the specific job you are applying for. And here it is giving an example. You can write it like this that developed and executed social media advertising campaigns that resulted in 20% increase in website traffic and 15% increase in sales. So this point is looking great and we can straight away use this point in our resume. Google Bard based on its understanding of how a good resume point should look like will give you a resume point. And if you are not satisfied with the result, then you may have to give further prompts to get the point in your desired format. There are two ways in which you can generate the better resume point from the first prompt. First way is to provide the additional information such as resume best practices along with the information of what you did and achieved. This way, Bard will suggest you the point based on best practices that you will tell it. You can either find best practices online or you can ask Google Bard for best practices. Let's see how this works. So in a new chat, I will write my prompt. So here I have written what are some best practices while writing a good resume point. Let's send this. So you can see that it has given us a list of best practices. Now in the next prompt, I will ask Bard to ask user two questions based on these points to get the information and generate a resume point. So here I have written that, so based on the best practices given above, ask me two questions to get the information. And once you have the information, generate a resume point for that information. Let's submit this. So here you can see that it is asking me two questions. First one is, can you tell me about a specific project or accomplishment? And second one is, what quantifiable results did you achieve through this project? If I write here, so now I have written that I led digital marketing campaigns 
and achieve a 25% increase in online sales and 15% growth in social media followers. If I submit this, so here Bart generated the resume point that spearheaded data driven digital marketing campaigns resulting in a 25% surge in online sales and 15% expansion of social media following within. Here you have to write time frame like within 6 month, 3 month, 1 month, etc. So you can straight away use this point in your resume. And there are additional ways you can tailor this point to be even more specific. So you can mention the specific digital marketing channel and you can quantify the impact of your increased social media following such as website traffic or lead generation. So if you are not satisfied with this point, you can further give additional information to further tune this point. So although Google Bard is giving us very accurate and good results, but still I am telling you these techniques because it may happen that sometimes Bard cannot understand your prompt or you are using some other tool than Google Bard like ChatGPT. Then these techniques will also work there as well. Now second way of improving the response is by using the few short technique of prompting. If you do not have resume point best practices with you, but you do have some examples of good resume points, you can give those examples in your prompt and Bard will try to make the suggestions as per the examples you have given. So if you give no examples and straight away ask for resume points, that is zero short prompting. If you use one example that is called one shot prompting and if you use more than one example that is called few shot prompting. We use few shot prompting when we are not able to clearly formulate what we want. But we have examples of the kind of points what we want. And from the given examples, Bart tries to identify what kind of points we want and suggests accordingly. So now let's see how this works. Now we will go to Bard and here I will paste my prompt. So here is my prompt. Here I have given two examples. This is the first example. What you did, what you accomplished and resume bullet point related to this example. Similarly, here we have an example of what you did, what you accomplished and related to this, here is the good resume point. Now lastly, we have given what you did and what you accomplished. But here I left this point empty because I wanted to convert it into a good resume point based on the above examples. That's how few short prompting is done. We give some examples and based on those examples, Google Bard tries to answer your query. Let's submit this. And here you can see Bard created three resume points and you can use one of these points in your resume. Now let's move to part 2. Here we will see if you have generic resume ready and you want to apply for a particular job. How you can customize your resume points to cater for the requirements for that particular job profile. Let's say you are applying for this job and you have this job description in front of you. Now we need to give both of these things. That is your resume which you have already created and the job description to Google Bard to customize the points. But instead of giving both of these in a single prompt, we will use dual prompting or knowledge generation and integration prompting. In this technique, in the first prompt, we will give Google Bard only the job description and ask it to list down the five key skills required for this job or five key responsibilities of a person doing this job. This prompt will generate knowledge based on the given description. In a next prompt, we will ask Google Bard to use the information generated to customize the resume points and there we will give Google Bard our old resume points. So first knowledge will be generated and in second prompt the generated knowledge will be integrated into the next prompt. This is called dual prompting or the knowledge generation and integration technique of prompting. So let's go to Google Bard and see how this works. So here is my prompt for this. Based on the job description given below, delimited by triple quotes, give 5 key skills required to perform this job and 5 key responsibilities for a person doing this job. And then I have pasted the job description within triple quotes. If I submit this response, 
Now you can see that here are the five key skills required to perform this job, digital marketing, market campaign development, and etc. And here are the five key skills responsibilities of a person who is doing this job. Now I will put the second prompt which uses this information. So here is my second prompt. Based on the skills and responsibilities identified above, rewrite the following resume points to better match these skills and responsibilities. And here I have given three old resume points. What I want bar to convert them as per the skills and responsibilities identified previously. Let's submit this. And now Bard has rewritten these three points. And now it is focusing on digital marketing, HTML, and centric analytics. Here are some improvements. And lastly, remember to tailor these points further based on the specific job description and industry. But before using these points, I will suggest you to check these points once, check the authenticity of these points. You can further tune these points by doing further prompting. You can make these points concise. You can add or remove some information, etc. So with this, Google Bard can save you a lot of time while making resume points. You may also need a cover letter for some job applications. You can ask Google Bard to generate that also. The inputs that you will need to give Google Bard would be your resume, description of the job you are applying for and some cover letter best practices. I would suggest that you try generating a cover letter yourself. So that's all in this video. If you find this video helpful, then like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such content. See you in the next one. Thanks.